Hi, everybody. I hope you're having a good week. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this during the week video. It's Tuesday afternoon. Some of you might recognize the place where I am. I'm here at West Stokes High School. And there's a reason why I'm here, which I'll share in just a few minutes. Uh, there are some things happening for us. The task force that we have at the church that's getting together to talk about our getting together again as a church family. They'll be meeting this evening. I want to thank everybody who turned in surveys. We received over 100 of them. And so our group will be looking at it and we'll be making plans and you'll be hearing more about that certainly in the days ahead. I just want to let you know that this Sunday we are going to be having a drive-up offering for King Outreach Ministry. It is the first Sunday of the month when we usually have our walk-up offering. But since we're not meeting as a church family, we're having our drive-up offering. I encourage you to come to the church parking lot between 10, 10 o'clock and 12 o'clock this Sunday. We are going to be taking donations for King Outreach Ministry, monetary donations, plus any personal items that you can bring that will help them out. Uh, Jeff Brown, the director at King Outreach Ministry, uh, told me that they need shampoo and soap, toothpaste, toothbrushes, deodorant, dishwashing soap, dishwash and laundry detergent. So if you can help with any of that, just please do. And if you can't come to the church, you don't feel safe about getting out, uh, certainly give me a call. Give us a call at the church. We'll be more than happy to come and get the items for you and bring them back to the church. We are having a blood drive next Wednesday on June the 10th. Uh, certainly sign up for that if you can. Also, our community yard sale will be next month. Uh, it'll be July the 24th, the 25th, and then you can start bringing items on Monday, July the 13th. In regard to our prayer concerns, I do have some of our church members I'd like this to, for us to remember. Morgan Goins is going to be having surgery tomorrow, and this is um, hopefully the last of several surgeries that she's been having. But certainly keep Morgan in your prayers. Uh, Jerry Long in a couple of weeks will be having knee replacement surgery. Amy Reeves asked that we pray for her nephew, Benton. Uh, he's got an eye problem. About four years ago, he had a pretty serious eye problem with the same eye, and there's certainly hope that he's, that he's not going to have to go through that. I know Amy and the family will certainly appreciate your prayers. We'll certainly continue to pray for our health care workers and pray for our nation as we're dealing with the pandemic. Uh, also, with all that's been going on this past week uh, in regard to uh, just the George Floyd death, um, everything that just is involved with that. Certainly pray for God's peace upon our land, uh, as well as just a, a lot of good reasoning and a lot of good care for one another. Um, the reason why I'm here at West Stokes, I'm here in honor of our graduates. We have two high school graduates this year. Both of them attend here at, uh, at West Stokes. Uh, they are Sophie Jennings and Brian Gentry. We do want to congratulate them. I know for me, since I've been here at King Moravian, a couple of years ago when they had graduation, uh, they had it uh, out of the football stadium, just a big crowd, a beautiful sunny day. Last year for the graduation, they had to go inside because of bad weather. This year for graduation, I have not heard anything. I'm sure they're trying to do something for the students, but it's definitely not going to be the same. So I certainly feel for them as well as I'm sure many of us do. Let's certainly keep Sophie and Brian in our prayers. And hopefully sometime in the days to come, we're going to be able to do our part to congratulate them uh, in our church family. I know another reason for being here today, those I've thought about this video and doing it here at this school. And as I continue to hear and read about the death of George Floyd, that has brought to the forefront the issue of racism and injustice in our nation. I thought about my own high school days. Growing up in Clemens, I grew up in a pretty much a white area. Um, the schools I attended were mainly white. But back in the 1970s in Forsyth County, uh, they decided to integrate the schools. So I was bused from Clemens all, over, all the way to the other side of Winston-Salem, uh, where I attended school. And for me, it was, well, for a lot of people, it was a time of unrest. For me, it was a new experience of being with a lot of people of a different color than myself. And as I look back, what helped me during that time was that I grew up in a family where I was taught to love and respect other people. I grew up in a church where I was taught that God loves everyone and sees us all the same way. You know, I love one of the great traditions of our Moravian church that I was constantly reminded of when I was growing up. I lived across the street from Clemens Moravian and then behind Clemens Moravian was their God's Acre. And at that God's Acre, there were the white, black, traditional stones that we have in the Moravian Church. And I learned the lesson of those stones is that God sees all of us the same way. 
in my home growing up and Kathy's in my home today, in our church, we teach love for all people, that we should accept one another and respect each other and to try to see others the way that God sees us and to treat others the way God wants us to treat them. And that what we should always be willing to do is to take a stand for what is right. Now, it's one thing to say these things, but they're just words if we don't live them out. And if we live them, it truly makes a great difference. I pray that each of us will do our part when the time comes for us to have a chance to overcome racism, to make sure people are treated justly and fairly, to always treat people the way that God wants us to treat them. Let's pray. Lord, thank you so much for the great God that you are. And as I come to you and I close this video in this time of prayer, there's some special people I want to remember and pray for. Lord, I pray for Morgan. Pray for a good surgery and a good recovery for her. Lord, I pray for Sophie and for Brian. I pray that despite the changes and all that's been taking place these last few months, that they will just have a wonderful graduation, that you will bless them as they move on to wonderful and even more greater things. And Lord, that your healing touch will be upon our nation, not only as we deal with this pandemic, but also as we deal with turmoil and uh, just the things we need to do as a nation to be the land that you want us to be. Thank you, Lord, that we can put all things into your hands. And thank you, Lord, for what you teach us and help us, Lord, to apply those things in our lives. For these things I ask and pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I certainly hope you have a great rest of the week. God bless you, and I hope to see you soon. Amen.